The great conflict of the ages is about to intensify. But remember the words of Jesus. In me, ye may have peace. In the world, ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Would you like to know how to exercise courage and fight the good fight of faith? Listen to this devotional. Conflicting Courage, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. Profitable Bonfire. And many that believed came and confessed and shewed their deeds. Many of them also which used curious arts brought their books together and burned them before all men. Acts 19 verses 18 and 19. By burning the books on magic, the Ephesian converts showed that the things in which they had once delighted, they now abhorred. It was by and through magic that they had especially offended God, and imperiled their souls. It was against magic that they showed such indignation. By retaining these books, the disciples would have exposed themselves to temptation. By selling them, they would have placed temptation in the way of others. They had renounced the kingdom of darkness, and to destroy its power, they did not hesitate at any sacrifice. Thus truth triumphed over men's prejudice and their love of money. The influence of what had taken place was more widespread than even Paul realized. From Ephesus, the news was widely circulated, and a strong impetus was given to the cause of Christ. Long after the apostle himself had finished his course, these scenes lived in the memory of men and were the means of winning converts to the gospel. It is fondly supposed that hidden superstitions have disappeared before the civilization of the 20th century, but the word of God and the stern testimony of facts declare that sorcery is practiced in this age as verily as in the days of the old-time magicians. The ancient system of magic is, in reality, the same as what is now known as modern spiritualism. Satan is finding access to thousands of minds by presenting himself under the guise of departed friends. The magicians of hidden times have their counterpart in the spiritualism mediums, the clairvoyants, and the fortune tellers of today. Could the veil be lifted from before our eyes, we should see evil angels employing all their arts to deceive and to destroy. Whatever an influence is exerted to cause men to forget God, there Satan is exercising his bewitching power. The apostle admonition to the Ephesian church should be heeded by the people of God today. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Let's go.